Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize our character. We have an actual two win streak going. We get the Keeper. Okay, Keeper's definitely one that could test the win streak, but he's a character that I truly, truly enjoy. So don't have to worry about that. Before we get started, as always, I'm just going to quickly check my Repentance Plus save thingy to make sure it's saved again because sometimes it doesn't. I don't know when it doesn't, when it doesn't. Okay, so everything seems to be locked again, which, yeah, it's just, just annoying. <laughs> um, but we can do R plus unlock. Whoopsie, I can't spell. Unlock all. Right, there you go. Okay. Very, very annoying that this keeps happening, but it is what it is. We get Doctor's Remote off the bat, which unfortunately is, of course, terrible for us because we can't use it. But, but saying that, it does technically count as a free bomb this floor, which I, re I, I realize isn't really that advantageous. But, it's something. Um, it should hopefully mean that if we need to find, destroy a tinted rock or get into a secret room. If we want to use it, we actually can. I should also be using my uh, active whenever possible here. But yeah, this is definitely a character that I wish started with Nur, even though obviously I realized that he starts with a, a trinket that's pretty useful to him anyways. It would be real nice. But yeah, this is definitely a character that threatens to lose the current win streak because I'm not very good with him, but I'll try it out. Anyways, as for the question of the day, it's one of them that Dat only left again, but I'm going to just tweak it a little bit. Um, it was, what's the, what's the creepiest thing of tech, the creepiest, like, thing in tech that you've seen that you never want to be implemented, but I'm going to slightly, slightly tweak it, because I don't particularly have my own answer for this, so I'm going to broaden it a little more. What's just some tech that you've seen that you do not want implemented? What's, what's some tech that you've seen out there that you really don't want the world to start using? Because for me, recently, uh, there's been some stuff floating around about, like, cyberpunk-esque uh, holographic advertisements basically like big floating adverts in the sky that sounds like the worst shit ever like imagine you go into the city center um or even if you go somewhere further away but looking towards city center and there's just a massive fucking bottle of coke flying in the air that sounds horrific and i really hope that never happens because it will just ruin so many areas oh nice we got two keys out of it that's fantastic um, it would just ruin so many areas that are so pretty. The, where I live, there's um, it's quite picture, picturesque in some parts. A lot of it, obviously, quite urban and modern looking. But there is also some really nice sort of countryside areas that are really lovely. And I just, it would, it would offend me personally if they if they went to such lengths to uh, ruin that by advertising. I still don't even like. Obviously, um, there's, there is some science behind why advertisement works and why they do it as much as they do. But personally, I still don't even really get why um, why advertisements are the way they are. Like, or like the YouTube adverts and stuff like that. Like, I have literally never, ever, ever, ever even considered buying something from a YouTube advert. In fact, I actively try to not purchase things from YouTube ads because they annoy me. I'm like, hey, this advert's annoyed me. I'm no longer going, ooh, kind of buffs these guys. That's kind of cool. I I'm like, I'm actively not going to buy your product now because you've annoyed me. It's just, yeah, I'm just like, just come on, just leave it alone. <laughs> um, the only thing that I've ever bought off a YouTube advert, which isn't really a YouTube advert, it was a sponsored video by um, a guy that I watched was um, shilling Raycon, as a lot of people were at the time. And um, we're not getting many coins at the minute, unfortunately. And um, he was shilling Raycon, as a lot of people were at the time. And uh, I, my girlfriend really wanted some wireless earphones, so I got them for her, and they're actually amazing. Dude, could you, could you chill out? Ooh, Petrified Poop's amazing. The health that we lost there isn't tragic. Basically, if I lose another health, which I shouldn't, it's only Dingle. Uh, but if I do, then I'm going to um, use a bomb, because I have one. I I'd rather not use it, but the ends justify the mean. Okay, good. He's doing a lot of diving around right now. Luckily, the diving around is one of the easier attacks this guy does. 
No worries. Pageant boy. Not particularly good, but it could give us a good amount of money if we get lucky. And we kind of got lucky. Um, I'm going to quickly go and scout the rest of this floor. Just to see if I can manage to get another penny from somewhere. In fact, yeah, there you go. I was just about to say, I can just use that and hope for a penny. So I'll use that and see what we can get for our shop. And Piggy Bank is, of course, pretty damn good for this character. While it's not a complete saving grace, as the Keeper it does have reduced effectiveness, it's still pretty damn good. But yeah, advertisements in general, I just, I really don't get, like, the emphasis on them. There's, there's got to be some, like, sci like more science behind it than I understand, clearly, because otherwise, advertising companies and companies in general wouldn't spend so much fucking money and time and effort doing it all, because, yeah, there must be, um... Something to it, some efficacy to how how well it works. Um, but yeah, it's just so annoying how flooded like things are with advertisements. Like I learned like a few months back. Um, why is my space bar being so dooky right now? Um, I learned only a few months back that um, in America, when you pump gas, when you get like fuel for your car, you have to watch an advertisement to pump. Like there's an advertisement that plays with sound. The, the, why? That's horrible. Uh, ooh. Now, Nordleaf is, like, sort of a guaranteed... Do you know what? I'll, I'll take it. Because it's, it's one of those things where it's, like, it's a guaranteed win if, um, if we get something that goes well with it. I'll take that. Yeah, if we get something that goes well along with it, then it's a pretty much guaranteed win. Honestly, as well, I might want to save up for the nurturing kit if I can at some point in this run. Because, um... Petrified Poop is only going to get worse over time, and honestly, the Nurturing Kit would be so fantastic as this guy. We just need to get enough money to make it work, which I don't know if it's going to happen. Teleports us to the Joker. I mean, obviously, we'll take that for now. Um, I can't remember. Is this, is this guy? It's Devil Deals that cost money, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. I'm just going to keep my distance from that dude. I love this music. It's so good. It's so somber and, like, chill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't want to go to the Devil Deal here because it costs money. And I don't think the Angel Deals do. Now, that is a trinket I would probably rather have, actually. Um, I think that's going to be uh, pretty darn good for me, so I'll go and grab that. Petrified Poop is good, but I think this is better. Right. We do have a penny saved up there, just in case. Although it's a pretty useless one, unfortunately, because um, it's going to get whisked around quite a lot. I'm having to pretty much stay on the diagonal here, because... Um, this guy is a shit and will cause me bodily harm, but I'm not careful. I'm, I'm very tempted to use my bomb right now because this guy really does annoy me. As far as bosses go, I find this guy particularly tricky. Although this room layout isn't so bad because I have a protective layer right here. It's just this attack that really gets me. Also, you bastard. But we're out of pennies now. We have got him just over halfway dead. That doesn't mean much. I'm going to try and destroy this poop real quick. Which is risky because it creates a fly. Hey, thank you. Oh my god. Just stop shitting out kids. This ain't no daycare, boy. This ain't no daycare. But yeah, like, I just... When did advertising become so invasive? Like... What was it that created that? Also, this is really cool to end off the fight here. I like that. Glass eyes, pretty darn good here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to take a devil deal here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to quickly go back over here. I know this is a little bit tedious. I'm going to grab petrified poop. Come back in here. Destroy these poops, try and get a few extra pennies. Which I know is unlikely, but... There you go, we got one. Um, and then we can come back... Pick this up and then re-grab the penny to hopefully get up to 12 cent, which might not happen, but it also might. 
Oh, only 11. There you go. Anyways, whatever. Okay, um, we're gonna go. We'll keep our Joker card for the next floor, see if we get an Angel Deal or not. I can't remember if we have to pay for Angel Deals as this character or not. I know you have to pay for Devil Deals. Can't remember if you have to pay for Angel Deals. I don't think you do. Love these enemies. So cool. Very nice. Um, we should actually leave some of this money on the floor in case we find a sack room that we can use. We did have a sack room last floor, but we unfortunately didn't really have enough money to make it work hanging around. God damn, the mod that makes it so you can one-hit poops and fires. Revolutionary. So good. You calm down, sir. Do not like these little flies. I don't really know what to think of these dudes. Oh, the herming shots are a little spicy there. They're just kind of like little traps, aren't they? Oh well, they're not harming anyone, I guess. I also can uh, play out the um, the curse room as well if I leave these coins on the floor. So I'll also leave them for that reason as well. Okay, this is going to be kind of a standoffish approach to this room. I should be using my space bar more often as well. You're right, you're right. Something that I constantly forget to do. That was bad. So okay, we got the penny back. Leave that penny there. We do have a teal boy here, which is slightly problematic, especially when it's a difficult one like that. Apparently, we managed to take the teal off of him straight away, though. I don't really know how we did that. Oh, God. He lobs the fish with such fury. Thank you for killing that dude. We get a penny there. Very nice. Something died straight away there. We also got a mini Isaac upon um, popping our space bar there for some reason. That is a potentially good chest. But we would have to hurt ourselves to get it. Although, I do think it's worth it. Because we go across. And we should get a payout of coins from this thing. That was, that. yeah, that, as long as this golden penny doesn't, yeah, disappear straight away, which it did. I was going to say we'd make a profit. The game decided to screw me. We made no profit. Um, I guess I'll check these out. Stopwatch is decent. That's not very good. Um, do I want the broken stopwatch is the question. I don't actually know if I do. Right, back we go. I'll just pick this penny up now. Counterfeit penny, can you proc a little more, please? Right, let's go in here. Boom, bam, boom, boom. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom. Hey, sometimes a coin with counterfeit penny will heal for two. That's pretty useful to know. Looks like we're not getting a thingy room, so I'll just pick all these up. Again, my flies are going absolutely wild because they're, for some reason, orbiting around my mini Isaac. Still have absolutely no idea what's happening with that. Something real wacky is going on. Um, I was just about to say this is a strange room, but then I've realized what's going on here. Now, I don't want to take that because it could uh, lower my HP. And we get Bloodshot Eye, which isn't particularly good, but there you go. Range up is decent. This guy will fire a herming shot, so we need to stay away. Whenever you kill those dudes, you just got to make sure you're at a distance. Can you stop farting, sir? Thank you. Good amount of money going here. We're getting good procs on our uh, counterfeit penny. Our, sorry, uh, wooden nickel now. This is probably second secret room. It very much looks like it. Okay. Slightly annoying room here, because um, it is a very, very, very lucrative room, and we don't have any explosives. So, what I reckon we do here is, first of all, we kill the boss, and we try and get an angel deal here. It was a kind of a hard boss. I do want to try and destroy some of these poops, because there could be a coin in a few of them. But yeah, this is a slightly difficult boss, to be honest. 
He's not crazy hard, but he's got a little bit more to him than a lot of the other bosses because he's from a mod. Normally, people like to make the modded bosses a bit more complicated, which is definitely not a bad thing. Definitely adds to the intrigue of playing different runs and getting different bosses. But he does come with some added difficulty, especially this phase where he's really fast. Can need to use knockback to keep him away from you. We did get this, though. I like that. Tears up is very, very nice. And unfortunately, didn't get anything there. We will use our Joker card here to get an Angel Deal, and we got Holy Mantle. Okay, that is... That is absolutely huge. Now, I wasn't intending on going Mother, but I'm going to go for my White Fire anyways, simply because I want more bombs to be able to utilize that room. And I think that clearing rooms... Wait, is he... I think that the flies are rotating around my Bloodshot Eye, actually. Beautiful. With Holy Mantle um, intact here as well, we're, we're good. Although, I'm seeing that we don't actually get double Holy Mantle, which I thought we would, interestingly enough. I thought we'd get two Holy Mantles here. Kind of makes sense that you wouldn't, but also, I, yeah, I was expecting to. I'm going to try and clear as many rooms as I can here. Question is, do I want to fight the boss again? I can't remember what boss it was now. Oh, no, no. I do not want to fight the boss again. No, no, no. It was the um, the other horseman, which I honestly find very, very difficult. So I will not be attempting to do again. Stay away from this goober while he does his thing. Big fat explosions. Same for you, my good sir. Can you drop us, a, like, a room reward bomb, please? Really, like, counting on that. I mean, we're getting more money out of doing this anyways, so it's useful for that reason. This is a little scary, I'll admit. But... Yeah, getting the extra charges, especially the counterfeit penny. A little bit of bonus stuff for us. It's nice. Yeah, Holy Mantle's a huge grab for this run. Doesn't guarantee a win by any means, but it definitely, definitely helps with one. Right. And it still haven't got any bombs. Might be able to buy one from the shop. I never actually looked. There's one. I might as well grab my knife piece here. Why not? I think the bloodshot eye slows on hit sometimes. I didn't I didn't actually know that. It's not a bad uh, a bad thing for it to be able to do. Okay, good. Um and then yeah, we just want to bail now. Go back. I love the music in this area. It sounds so nice. Like glitchy sort of reversey type of music. Still the mirror room thing is one of the coolest things they added in Repentance. So much cooler than the original knife piece chasing. I, I, I get that some people say they get old after a while, but I still really like them. Okay, we don't have flight anymore, remember that. Um, normal secret room should be kind of obvious. I'm pretty sure it's here. Do you know what? I'm an idiot. I literally got that bomb for one reason and one reason only, and I wasted it and didn't even find the secret room. That was... That was truly a brain fart moment right there. Okay, we do have some bombs we can grab here. I realize that, like, buying a bomb seems like a little bit of a weird decision to, to go and get more money, but I'm pretty sure we paid 10 cents, we're going to get more than 10 cents back out of it with Counterfeit Penny. I'm fairly sure, especially that big cluster in the middle. That big cluster in the middle seems like it'd be worth a lot. I'm annoyed I wasted that other bomb, though. That was really stupid of me. Boom. Like, this cluster here, we're going to get a lot out of. Yeah, we got loads out of that. Awesome, up to 50 cent. Very much like that. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Um, we, we might come back to the mines. I've got my knife piece in case we want to. But I'm not hell-bent on fighting Mother. Mother is, of course, quite a bit harder. You can get into here for free now, which is nice. 
Magic skin, you see. If I use it once, it's going to screw up my whole run. I either have to keep it or um, thingy. And also, I don't even know how... Um... Well, this is a new champion here. I don't even know how... Um... Broken hearts work with this guy particularly, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain. Normally that would be absolutely my jam, but I do think that's a, a little bit of a, a rash decision, maybe. I'll pop this. Tears up, hell yeah. Um. Hmm. Gonna blow you up and see what we get. Just a bit of angel chance, which is pretty nice to be honest. Right, let's keep going. I don't want to blow up these the shampoos because uh, we'll drop those little bloody blue enemies that annoy the hell out of me. Nice. Oh, we got one of these little little um, sucky boys. They're pretty fun. Got a lot of them on this room. Okay, it's only these. I thought there was another enemy, but it just turns out it's um, those guys. Really, really cool idea for an enemy. The fact that it, like it's a sponge that sucks up your tears and gets bigger and bigger until it pops. It's just a fun idea to play around with. Dogtooth is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, the, the damage isn't particularly amazing, neither is the speed, but being able to find secret rooms more reliably is something that I very much respect. Obviously, it's not super reliable because it doesn't give you an exact location, but it helps. Okay. We don't need to pick up the money, to be honest. We're picking it all up, and I should just be saving it for just in cases. Oh, no, maybe it's our tar dude that's uh, slowing enemies. He seems to be dropping little, little droplets of it everywhere. Slightly tough room here, especially considering I wasn't able to um, leave that penny on the ground very easily. I'll check this out, but I do. I wouldn't reroll if it was a reroll. Um, rerolls all pickups in. I don't even get why the two room exists, to be honest. Um, I'd honestly rather, uh, yeah, I was about to say get another bomb and try and make my way over to all of those. Fool's gold rocks here. I guess I could re-roll these. Eh, it didn't end up giving us too much. I was thinking maybe I could re-roll them and get some good stuff out of them. Maybe that's the point of that room. But we've got 68 coins now, so even if we get a devil deal, um, which is pretty unlikely, but even if we get a devil deal later down the line, we can afford whatever we want, and we can still buy stuff from shops and feel pretty guilt-free about it. I like that. I love it. I want some more of it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So nice that these dudes have like unique, unique attacks for each different uh, poo that they drop on. I think that's a really cool addition. So yeah, just leave that penny there. It's just a bit of safety. Like I said, I doubt we're going to need the safety all too much because we're getting up there in our stats. We've got good fire rate and all that jazz. And obviously Holy Mantle just means that defense wise, we have hit the jackpot. I love the rework of those enemies. Really cool. Okay, so we do have a secret room within this room. I'm going to wait until I get to the connecting room so I have a bit, of a bit of a better idea of where it is, though. I am going to get hit in here. It's only our holy mantle, though. It's just that guy was being a little bit, little bit of a prick. Don't know how I dodged that. Right, come back over here, you. Didn't even realize there was two of them left. Oh, that bone was chasing me. Okay, we're good on that front. We've got a lot of keys as well, which is really nice. Um, Pickups into burn orbitals doesn't really help us, especially as an active. I think options is pretty good. I think I'll take options. I'm fairly sure I know where the secret room is at this point, but I don't want to jump to conclusions here. I've, I've buggered up here. It's going to hit me. Yep. Although it did land in the water, which I find pretty funny. <laughs> right, come here, come over here, you. Love the noise this thing makes. So we can take a sack or a key. I think I'll take the sack, thank you. 
Because then I get two keys. <laughs> okay, so second secret... Oh, no, so this isn't second secret room. This is a normal secret room. But we know for a fact that it's here now. Unfortunately, it's just some flies. Not super useful. Um, not much else on this floor that I'm super interested in. But I ought to do my due diligence to check for a planetarium or anything like that. It is a little annoying that Dogtooth goes off even if it's a secret room you've already found, but I, I, I kind of get why. I realise that'd be a little more complicated to code. Right. Let's go do our boss. I'm not super prepared for this. I'd like a little bit more damage, really. Oh, especially a boss like this. He's going to end up hitting me a good few times, and I didn't get any money out of it, although I'm pretty sure him hitting you does make you drop money, so as this character, he isn't as bad. We do have Holy Mantle to help us as well. The Falling Stones are the worst because you just cannot tell where they're going. Not too bad at all from this dude. Not too bad at all. We unfortunately got breakfast, which doesn't help at all. We did get an Angel deal. Um, Flight and Spectral, it's a, it's a reflected version, so... I guess. <laughs> Why not? We get two of them. I don't think... I was just about to say I don't think two of them has any effect, but it gave us Seraphim, which honestly, also Seraphim doesn't really have an effect, but hey her. Anyways, let's take this and just scamoosh. Um, actually, let's quickly... My god, my flies are just having an absolute whale of a time. It's hilarious. So weird. I think, yes, we have a bomb. Why did I... Why did I buy the one that was more expensive? I'm just gonna buy both to double down. Anyways, let's go back. I realize we have some coins lying on the floor. I'm not that arsed. Um, let's go to the mines, shall we? Make our way and maybe do mother. We'll see how our run ends up turn out. Honestly, right now, our run has some really, really good bits, but nothing that makes me want to fight mother yet. If we get some good stuff this floor, I'll certainly consider it. Also, remember we need money on the floor to open the mausoleum door. I always forget that. So there's our money on the floor. Yeah, there's our money on the floor. Love these enemies. So cool. Like, pick up rocks and throw it at you. It's just such an interesting idea. Golden bomb? Lovely. Golden bomb is super, super useful considering we're pretty low on bombs here. Especially when we can find out where our secret room is very, very easily. Uh, boom and boom. Ooh, very nice. That's a damage up. And grants a stat boost until you get hit. Now that could be insane. Because if we don't get hit on... Like, a holy mantle doesn't count as being hit. So that could really help us out a ton. We've got to be careful still, obviously. But that could be a huge help for, for at least a little while. For at least a little while. Don't know what some of these enemies do on this floor, so let's be careful. A bomb, please. Thank you. But yeah, the, the damage up certainly helps. Big John in here doing his thing. Didn't mean to use that. Oh, well. But yeah, as long as we're cautious here, we shouldn't lose our stat upgrade for a good bit. Should stick around with us for a bit of time here. Honestly, having Spectral is something that I, I, I always underrate. It's so very powerful. Maggie's Bow does literally nothing for us, so we'll take the other one. We got Mended Knife. That's pretty good. I don't know if Mended Knife can open the door for us. I, I think it can, but either way, it's good to have. It's a, it's a familiar that does a good amount of damage. Basically, it's just like having the knife pieces as a permanent familiar. It's really useful. Okay, um, I don't think any of them are really worth anything to us. We got our second secret room in here, probably to the left. Good, good. Right, 
check this back room over here. I'm trying to clear, full clear the floors here if I can. Oh, that's a tears up. I never even realized. Awesome. But yeah, it's going to be a sad day when we lose all these stats. Because right now we have sort of a, a slightly self-inflated version of our run. Where it feels like it's better than it actually is. Right, we didn't get a sack room, unfortunately, so we can take some of the pennies that are lying around. I was hoping we'd get a sack room, so I kind of left them there just in case. But that was not the case. We'll just take them all and go fight our boss. We do have golden bombs. The boss should not be a problem at all. I don't know why the mended knife spawns on every room. Like, it does that little puff thing to, like, signify that it's spawning. Honestly, golden bombs could not be a better use case for them here. Congratulations, you played yourself. Damn it, we got rotten meat again here. Okay, so we might lose our apple thing here. I really hope we don't. I didn't leave the pennies. There was a reason I left the pennies on the floor. I forgot about that. Whoopsie. Okay, we got them back. Yeah, um, I don't know if we lost our stat upgrade there. I don't think we did. Right. Anyways, let's go. To the mausoleum we go. To the mausoleum we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling Mother a little more. Like I said, it's a, it's a little risky because we don't actually know. Um, don't, I don't understand this room, so I'm just not going to bother. Um, we don't actually know... Um, how we're doing in terms of our like stats really Ooh, now that might be worth it at this point because it does it does triple shot as well it does definitely add a bit of lag to the game but the bonus damage that it can give but does it do it doesn't do triple shot okay maybe not then yeah i'm not gonna bother with that to be honest the extra lag isn't worth i thought it'd be better than that Right, bomb that. Two items. Yes, oh, we got great items as well. Clockwork is fantastic. And SMB Super Fan is an all stats up. Really good. Very good stuff there. The clockwork thing's really good because now we've got bouncy tiers and extra damage tiers. Oh, we got the uh, teleporter to the other side. Again, we'll leave the pennies there for now. Yeah, I've, that's that's the cog item is really good for us. One extra damage tier and uh, one bouncy tier. Bouncy tiers are of course just a lot of fun, but also pretty useful. Don't like the fact that you're getting so aggressive, my boy. Yeah, these guys are. I don't know what these guys are doing. Are like kind of ash falling. Oh god, what the hell was that that he fired at me then? That was strange. We have a bed here. Wasn't expecting to see that. Um, I don't want the solar stemmer to be honest, because it's not very useful for us. It says we're in a bedroom now, but we're not. Clearly. There's clearly no bed here. I don't know what's going on with that, but hey her. These little brain things are so strange, all the little attached dudes. There's not always a reward at the end of this tunnel when you go down the uh, the other path. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Yeah, like this time, no reward at the end of the tunnel, unfortunately. That's just how it is. I do wish the last room in this alt mausoleum always had a teleporter to the starting room. That'd be nice. Just save you quite a lot of backtracking. God damn, my money's looking so good right now. Right, back to the normal area. Okay, good. 
Not a big fan of the red blocks, but <laughs> when they can kill the enemy for you, more of a fan. More of a fan when it just kills the enemy for you. I like the fact that with more options, whenever it spawns a heart, it gives us the item and the uh, flies that it would have given us for the red heart spawning. We get both. Look, Penny's lovely there. I'm guessing it's a secret room here. That it is. Ooh, we do have one of these guys. Probably worth playing, to be honest. Gives us our second secret room teleport. Oh, God. <laughs> you hop in it, it's just like playing Portal. It's an infinite loop. It doesn't teleport you to second secret room, unfortunately. I don't know how much I want to actually play this guy. So I definitely wanted the mapping effect. One second. I'm sorry, I heard a noise, but I well, wasn't actually sure what it was. Strange times. Right. Don't want the boss teleport. Not something I'm willing to take, to be honest. I feel like that could easily get rid of my uh, the burner stat thing I've got going on right now. What we got here? We got the pet rock fly or something random. We'll take something random, and that's pretty good. Give us a holy mantle as well, so we've got double holy mantle right now. Oh, hello there. So says there a button I'm meant to be pressing. I'm just kind of di darting around the room, hoping for the best there. Okay, don't lose it. The arrows do so much damage. It's crazy. Right. Bombs can fill up gaps. I don't really care, but it's so cheap. And then this is risky as all hell, but I will take it. Gives us four random trinkets smelted to us. We got Pride Badge. <laughs> don't think you can go wrong with Pride Badge. He's also doing the brimstone sound effect for some reason. I'll accept it. What on earth is going on with this room? Ow. This is quite something. I'm scared. Holy hell. That was intense. Another range upgrade. Ah, I bombed the... Oh, I'm stupid. Hello, sir. Does he stay with us? He does. Nice. I don't really need to gamble right now, so I'm not going to bother. Go, Sai Hunter. Do your thing. <laughs> what a cool enemy. I'm guessing he, he can still die pretty easily, but still, he's fun. Oh, we got Warp Zone. Nice. Warp Zone's all the fun. He's going to die pretty quick to this knifing guy, though. I'm surprised the knifing guy isn't dying, but maybe he doesn't deal contact damage. Oh, no. There you go. He, he lobbed a boss directly on top of him. That... Kind of sorted him out. Pride really isn't getting that involved today. We One thing about Pride that I do love, though, is we get multicolored tears. Very down with the multicolored tears. Excuse me, sir. What was that about? There you go. We got him. Yeah, Pride doesn't seem all, all that jazzed about being alive, I'll be honest. We did get perfection eventually, which I think I will take at this point. Box is what it is. What it is. Not super useful. And we do get an angel deal here. Damage up. I think I think we're better off with just straight damage with Blood of the Martyr here. Because we, we just need damage right now. Right, let's get gone. That was quite a long floor. The mausoleum floors with the extra half are always quite a bit longer than they usually used to be. But yeah, Pride is just, he's just chilling. And the thing is, we can't even reset his AI by dropping him and picking picking him back up again. So he kind of just is what he is. But honestly, like I said, just for the just for having the rainbow tears, I respect him. I don't, I don't care if he doesn't do his job right. 
Maybe he's just like stood there in shock that he exists. Him existing is truly unbelievable. Oh, this is perfect. This is such a good item. This is a huge DPS upgrade for us. Yeah, basically this is the deal the devil version of um, Sacred Heart. It's very, very good. So I'm very, very jazzed to have it. But yeah, we haven't been hit, like, properly hit in quite some time, have we? Um, let's go and do the alt part again. We don't have to do it every time, but it's kind of new, so I want to. Also, the astral shots that we're firing out, they also have um, that insane bonus of the herming. So, all in all, we are doing a lot more damage. This makes Mother far more plausible. Didn't mean to take that, but I will. Obviously, as well with Spectral, it's even better. Okay, there's definitely something glitchy going on currently with these rooms, because it clearly says right there that I have a shop that I just walked through, but there was no shop, so there's clearly some room generation jankiness that's going on. Clearly some stuff that's not working as it should be, I think, because if we don't get an item room or an actual shop or anything like that on this floor again, then yeah, I think it's maybe just broken and it's supposed to give us a special room because last time it was supposed to give us a bedroom. This time it was supposed to give, the, give us a shop and it just isn't giving me them. I don't know why, but they're rolling as combat rooms by accident, I think. That seems like it's the, uh, it's the current issue right now. Right. Anyways, continue on with our normal floor. This is quite the run now. I mean, it has been quite the run for a while, but it's especially quite the run now. This is regular secret room, apparently. Okay. Golden sack there as well. Quite a lot of players on it so far. Damn. That was quite a lot of players for it, to be honest. Damn it, picked up the key again. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, shop time. Um, I guess I'll take this, but it doesn't matter too much. Oh god. That, that was almost really annoying. Magic skins back again. No thank you. I don't know how b b broken hearts affect the keeper, so I just don't want to risk it. I should also actually um, take this with me, because why not? Uh, we'll take them. We've taken a lot of mystery items this run, so I'm surprised things are going as well as they are. Oh, okay. Makes things a little easier. Oh, there isn't any enemies in this room yet? Okay. Well then. I see. This is quite an interesting room here. I'm just going to press them all. Ah, I pressed the kill switch a little too early, didn't I? So this, is, this was a bad idea. But it's okay. It all worked out. Okay, boss time. Really shouldn't have too much trouble with this, but I've got I still got to be careful. Okay, yeah. Don't have to be careful, really, do I? Don't need spectral tears. We've already got them. The two knives. Easy. Yeah, we are demolishing right now. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's vamoosh. 
And we are doing Mother. I didn't expect we were going to be doing Mother this run, but it honestly just makes sense, doesn't it? We got this bloody thing, which is terrible, but I'll take it. Pop the moon card to get out, why not? We're not have mapping this floor, fuck. Popping the moon card was maybe not the best idea then, because I have absolutely no idea which direction I'm supposed to be moving in. I might be going back towards the starting room right now. I really have no idea. Okay. We don't need to pick much stuff up here. Pretty sure I'm going back towards the starting room here, but we'll, we'll find our way there eventually. Oop, I lost my holy mantle. I do have another holy mantle backlogged look, so it's not that bad if I lose it. Oh no, we found our way to the boss. Nice. I was lucky. Okay, this is a boss that could seriously um, take away my beautiful, beautiful uh, stat upgrade, but I have the damage to destroy. Um, I'm pretty sure this is good for us. Spawns four to six soul hearts on pickup. I mean, just a bunch of flies, I guess, for us, and we'll take that as well. Why not? Could get conjoined, maybe. Very unlikely, but could. Right. Real boss time. Yeah, we've got these little knives that uh, create the gemstones and get more powerful as the floor goes on. Kind of an interesting concept. I'm not going to play it out completely, but if we can get the gemstones, I will I will try and grab them. Does give us a little bit of a bonus here and there. So and we get a Mega Tears up there. That's that's huge. That That's a massive DPS increase for the boss. Also, my Wisps are going wild once again, as always. Oh, this is one of the rooms where we got to fight the actual room itself. Strange. Range upgrade? Why not? <laughs> the Wisps are just having their own little bit of fun. I don't know how many of these gemstones we need for a damage upgrade. But if I can get them, I'll try. If I can get him, I'll certainly try. Oh, hello, shop man. That is not really what we want, but okay. There we go, shooting out his gut. Didn't mean to pick that up. Oh well. See if you can get a card for the boss, that'd be nice, like a devil card or something. There's another damage upgrade. I, I kind of glow red when I get a damage upgrade out of it. Kind of easy to tell. Okay, here's the boss. I didn't get a ton of the gemstones here, but we got enough to be reasonably happy, I think. Right. I think we're good to go. Boss time away. We did get a chariot card, which is something. We'll see how this goes. I reckon we're going to end up losing our stat upgrade eventually, but I'm going to hope it's not until second phase. We're doing good damage. We're firing a fork load of these knives, which I believe is because of perfection. We did lose one holy mantle already, but that was kind of to be expected. I'm on the wrong side here. I don't like being at this side. I'm left-handed. This doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Good damage. This is a phase that I'm very much not very familiar with still. Still really bad at this. It's not too bad. There's just a little bit of it that can confuse my my small little brain sometimes. 
don't like how close you're getting to me, Big Sir. You're getting way too close, my good guy. Okay, we got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Since we got that moderate stat upgrade, we didn't get hit once, which is pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A very fun run to Mother. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.